it, that's okay too. Uh, meet me in this cross-legged seated position. And once you arrive in a cross-legged seated position, see if you can sit with the tall spine, that way you can bring more oxygen to your brain. And either ground your palms on top of your knees if you need to ground your energy, but place your palms face up and just begin to settle into your body, get all the fixing, get all the fidgeting out of your system. And eventually you'll let the eyelids grow heavy and shut the leg out completely. Just begin to tap into your natural breath. Feeling your belly rise with each deep inhalation and feel your belly lower with each deep exhalation. Start to notice the temperature of your skin. Maybe you're feeling cool. Maybe you're feeling a little bit hot. Whatever is going on, see if you can just make note of it. Feel grounded in the sit bones and maybe you notice the air gliding underneath the parts of the body that are not connected. Start to feel one line of energy up from the crown of the head, down through the back of the neck, vertebrae by vertebrae, and then down and out through the tailbone. Just see if you can begin to soften against those edges, that tension, that resistance by breathing a little bit deeper as you gently shift your attention now to the emotional part of your well being. See if you can just pay attention to the thought or feeling you brought on to your mat here this afternoon. Maybe you're feeling grateful for the start midday of your Wednesday. Maybe you're feeling a little bit frustrated, anxious, sad, whatever's going on in your life. See if you can just hold a steady gaze to it and breathe even deeper. The beauty of the yoga practice is that we learn to sit still with that discomfort. Now, see what it feels like to deepen your breath on account of three, inhale through the nose, three, two, one, hold. Soften the jaw, open up the mouth, let it go on account of three, two, one. Again, inhale deeply through the nose on the count of three, two, one, hold. Soften the jaw, open up the mouth, let it go on the count of three, two, one. Again, inhale deeply through the nose, three, two, one, hold. Soften the jaw, open up the mouth, let it go, three, two, one. One. Start to place the palms face down on top of the knees and just slowly begin to rotate the head like you're drawing small little circles up to the sky and feel free to linger shoulder to ear if that feels good. Don't forget to switch the rotation. Bring your neck back to a neutral spine. Let your throat face the sky and enjoy a nice stretch in the back of the neck and the decompression in the front of the throat. Good, one more cleansing breath and bring your head back to a neutral position. Take your right hand over to your left ear as you relax your sh shoulder blades down your back. Give me five cleansing breaths here, inhale. Exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five. Good, gently release and switch sides. Take now the opposite hand to the opposite ear as you relax your shoulder blades down your back. Here we go, inhale. Exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five. Good. Gently release. With the palms face down on top of the kneecaps, begin to undulate the torso like you're stirring this huge pot of soup and you want to mix all the ingredients together. 
Good, switch the rotation. You can even incorporate your shoulders into it if you'd like. Bring yourself back to a neutral position with the spine. Sweep your arms up high to the ceiling. Reach tall through the fingers. And then you exhale, sweep your right arm behind your back. Let your left hand fall on top of the knee or down to the ground. Here we go, five big breaths. Inhale, exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five. Good, reach your arms back up high, high, high. And now twist over to the other side. Here we go, inhale. Exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five. Good, reach your arms back up high, high, high. And now forward fold, let the head and the neck hang heavy. As you breathe deep into the hip flexors here, inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five. Walk your fingers back up next to your hips, arms up, and now let the right arm fall down by your hips. Sweep the left arm up and overhead, getting that nice arch in the spine. You can even bend the elbow and set the forearm flat. Inhale, exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five, reach your arms back up high. Left arm down, right arm up and overhead. Exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five. Now reach both arms up to the sky with the thumbs facing up like you're hitchhiking. And then let the arms fall down by your hips as we draw these 10 imaginary rainbows. Nice, and if you want to incorporate a, a mantra, maybe you say so hum in yoga, in Sanskrit, that means I am. Here we go, inhale, exhale one. This is also called ego eradicator, inhale. Exhale two and simultaneously, we're just warming up the shoulder girdle here, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, so hum, inhale. Exhale five, inhale. Exhale six, inhale. Exhale seven, inhale. Exhale eight, inhale. Exhale nine, inhale. Exhale 10. Beautiful, gently release. Now make your way, everybody, onto all four. So coming into tabletop, ground down onto your hands and your knees and spread your fingers wide so you notice the webbing in between the hands. You spread your knees a little bit more than hip width distance apart. And it's up to you. You can leave the front of the feet flat or curl the toes. Let's move through cat cow. So tuck your chin to your chest. Round, round, round like a rainbow. Then release your low back, your middle back, your upper back gaze up. Again, tuck your chin to your chest. Round the spine like a rainbow. Inhale, look up, gaze up. Again, tuck your chin to your chest, round. Inhale, look up. Again, one more time. Tuck the chin to the chest, round. And gently return back to a neutral position. Go ahead and lengthen your right leg with the toes tucked and just push back through that right heel just to relieve any tension in the lower extremities and just getting deep into the fascia, the muscles and the joints. Inhale. Exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five. Good, release and switch it out. Tuck the back toes and now push back through that heel. Inhale, exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, Inhale, exhale five. Good, gently set the knee back down. See if you can lift the right knee as I face you off to the side. Yeah, 
and then lift the heel up and then set the knee back down. So again, get that internal rotation of the hip, knee up, heel up, back down. Good, give me four more. Knee up, heel up, back down. Three more, knee up, heel up, back down. Last one, knee up, heel up, back down, and release. Switch it out. So now take the knee up, heel up, and back down. Good, knee up, heel up, back down. Three more. Knee up, heel up, back down. Two more, knee up, heel up, back down. Last one, knee up, heel up, and back down. Beautiful. Let's make our way into down dog. So go ahead, tuck your toes, lift your hips up high to the sky, coming into your downward facing dog. Spread your fingers wide so you can evenly distribute your weight. Let your head and your neck hang heavy. Start to bend one knee at a time like you're pedaling a bike, just to loosen up anything that feels cranky or stressed. Give it a gentle shake out, yes. Gentle shake out, no. Nice. Bend your knees, look towards your hands, and at the bottom of the exhale, tiptoe walk to jump to meet your hands. Once you arrive at the top, go ahead, grab opposite elbows and gently sway side to side. Good, release the grip, let the arms dangle. Reverse swan dive your arms up high to the sky. I'll just adjust the computer screen here so you could see me. Go ahead, let your right arm fall down by your hips. You can really feel your range of motion here today as you sweep the left arm up and overhead. Three breaths here, inhale. Exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, good, release and switch it out. Left hand down, right arm up and overhead. Inhale, exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, now reach both arms up high. Cactus shape the arms and shine your heart to the sky. Inhale, exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, release. Forward fold, let your head and your neck hang heavy. Listen. As you forward fold, take a look at me. I'm gonna yogi toe lock my toes with my index and my middle finger, and your peace fingers, and take the thumbs on top of the toenails. Now slightly bend the knees. Shift all the way over to your right foot and lift the left leg up. See what it, that feels like. Maybe you just lift the heel off the ground or the toes off the ground. If you can, maybe you can lift the left leg to the side. Maybe you can lift it up all the way. Beautiful, release and switch it out. So shifting all the way over to the left. Again, I have a slight bend in my knees. Maybe I can lift the right heel off the ground. Maybe I'm able to lift the whole foot up off the ground and then shift the weight over to the right leg. Maybe you play a couple of times. Beautiful, release. It's a challenging pose, so that's okay if you don't get it the first time or so. Forward fold with the head and the neck hang heavy. Place your hands on your shins, look up, lengthen, and exhale, hands down on the mat, step back, home base, downward facing dog. In downward facing dog, inhale the right leg up high, bend the knee, open up the hip. Three big circles here, one, two, Three, nice, now take the right knee, tap the left elbow, nice, shoot it back up. Now right knee, right elbow, tap, shoot it back up. Now glide the foot in between the hands, pivot the left heel at a 45 degree angle, reach your arms up high to the sky, coming into your warrior one stance. Three big breaths here, inhale, one, Inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three. Now reach your arms apart in the air, coming into your warrior two. So see if you can spread your arms like wings as you sink a little bit deeper, scoop the belly up and in. Good, three breaths here, inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, nice. Now. 
Take your hands and interlace them behind your head or your neck. Good, now bend that right knee as deep as you can. Tap the right elbow to the knee and back up. Good, two more times, knee, back up. Last one, knee, back up. Now reverse your warrior, left hand on your back thigh, right arm up and overhead. Here we go, three breaths in your reverse warrior. If you want to go deeper in today, uh, into your reverse warrior, take your back hand and touch your right hip. Inhale, exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, keep bending that front right knee. Inhale, exhale three, release. Sweep your hands back down onto the mat, step back, full base, downward facing dog. In down dog, inhale the left leg up high. Good, now bend the knee, open up the hip. Three big circles here, just to get deep into that hip flexor. One, two, Three, nice. Now, right knee taps, right elbow tap. Shoot it back up. Good, knee to elbow, shoot it back up. Now, exhale the foot in between the hands, lift on up, warrior one. So taking the time to refine your warrior one, lengthen the arms nice and long past the sides of the ears. Inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, Inhale, exhale three. Now cut your arms apart, warrior two. So I'm gonna turn around so I face you in warrior two. So really open up the legs, spread the arms like wings. Inhale, exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, nice. Now interlace your hands behind your head. Go ahead, tap the elbow to the knee, lift back up, good. Inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, release the arms. Now reverse your warrior, left arm up and overhead, right hand down your back thigh or behind your back. Here we go, inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale. Exhale, three, release. Cartwheel the arms down onto the mat. You can either wait in down dog or take that vinyasa. That's either plank or knees, chest and chin, bend the elbows, glide your heart upward facing dog, and retuck your toes back to home base, down dog. From down dog, and I'm just going to switch. Inhale your right leg up high. Exhale, glide the foot in between the hands. Come on up, high crescent lunge. In high crescent lunge, give me five lunges here. Here we go, bend both knees, lengthen. Good, five more, four more, three more, two, last one. Extend your arms towards the front and then plug the shoulder blades into the sockets. You could stay here in this power lunge or warrior three, lift the back leg off the ground. Any variations with the arms will do. Good, see if you can lift that back leg a little bit higher. Beautiful, release back, high lunge. Replace your hands back down onto the ground. Step back, home base, down dog. Let's give it a shot on the other side. Inhale, the left leg up high. Exhale, glide the foot in between the hands. Come on up, high lunge, left side. So here we go, five lunges on this side. Just make sure your legs are like train tracks to promote your stability. Spread the legs apart, and then here we go. Bend at the knees, lengthen. Four more, three more, two more. Last one, good. Extend your arms towards the front wall. Plug the shoulder blades into the sockets. You could stay here in the power lunge or play with lifting the back leg off the ground. Once the leg is off the ground, maybe you do something different with your arms. You can airplane them. Yes, tee them, whatever feels right. Prayer hands to your heart. See if you can lift that back leg a little bit higher. Beautiful, replace, lift the arms up, lower the hands back down, step back, down dog and wait, or take your vinyasa, plank, 
knees, modified version, bend the elbows, sweep your heart upward facing dog, and reach up the toes, back to home base, down dog. In downward facing dog, bend the knees, look at your hands, tiptoe walk or jump to meet your hands. Once you get there, chair. So bend the knees, shoot the Nice. Now, pick the heels off the ground and see what it's like to pulse. Here we go. 10 pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release, forward fold. Let your head and your neck hang heavy. Back to chair, bend the knees, shoot the hips back. Now twist over to the right, hook the left elbow past the right knee. You can stay here, you can tee the arms, split the arms, whatever feels right. Three breaths, inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, release, come back to the center and switch it out. Pray your hands to heart, hook now the opposite elbow past the knee. Here we go, inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, come back to the center and forward fold. Let your forehead dive in towards the knees. Bend one knee at a time, shake it out, rinse it out. Good, now meet me in Malasana, squat pose. As you arrive in your squat pose, Yes, get your knees as far apart as you can, a little bit more than hip width distance apart, pray your hands to your heart, and see if you can sit with a tall spine. Yes, nice. Now take your right arm past your knee, sweep your left arm up and overhead. Good, release and switch. Left arm down, right arm up. Good, back to the center. And now crow pose. So I know you guys have practiced crow with me and you're at home. So maybe you could take deep in your practice or grab some pillows to support you. Start by placing your hands about two to three feet away. Come up under those tippy toes. Yes, lift the heels off as high as you can. Maybe you stick one knee right behind the bicep or the armpit. Maybe you can lift one foot off the ground. Maybe you lean both knees right up against those armpits. Look straight ahead so you don't face plant. Keep pushing, pushing down, and then the toes will come up off the ground. Beautiful. Release. Step back or jump. Take your vinyasa. That's plank. Bend the elbows. Glide your heart upward facing dog. Draw the shoulder blades down your back and back to home base, downward facing dog. And down dog, come into plank. From plank, shift all your weight over to your right hand and lift your left arm up. You can stay here or take that top arm up and overhead. You can play with taking the bottom leg off the top. You could do tree. Here we go, three breaths, inhale. Exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, release, come into plank and switch it out. Shift all your weight over to the left and I'm gonna turn around so I can face you and lift the right arm up. Maybe you take the top arm off the bottom, uh, excuse me, maybe you take the top leg off the bottom, whatever you can do, inhale. Exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, release, plank, and rinse it out, vinyasa. Just meet in down dog if you're fatigued, bend the elbows, shine your heart, upward facing dog, and retuck the toes back to down dog. So yogis, we played with headstand before and you're at home. So make your way with your mat to the wall or the couch if you need. And even if you don't have a headstand practice, that's okay. I'll just talk you through the different stages. So begin by interlacing your hands, set that triangle right at the top of the mat, create some space for the crown of the head, and then just slowly place the crown of the head onto the mat with the palms resting on the crown. You could stay here with the knees grounded. If you feel comfortable, maybe down dog, just see what it feels like to balance on your head. If you have, a headstand practice, come on up. 
and just be very careful. Just five breaths wherever you're at, even if you don't lift the legs off the ground. Inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five, release. So slowly lower the legs back down and widen the knees, child's pose. So wide knees, toes touching. Let the torso sink in between the knees. Here we go, five breaths, inhale. Exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five, good, gently release. Walk your hands up next to your hips. And now meet me seated. So as you arrive in a seated position on your mat, just going to straighten out the mat here. We'll make our way into boat pose, Navasana. So you lift, bend your knees, lift your feet off the ground, and your fingers are pointing towards the computer. You could straighten out your legs. I'll come sideways so you can see my face. You can keep your knees bent. Maybe you grab behind your knees if you need that modification or support. If you're up for the challenge, grab the outsides of the feet. Lengthen your torso to come more into your core and look towards your toes for five breaths here. Inhale, exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, any modifications will do, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five, release. Making your way into butterfly pose. So get the soles of the feet together and shake out the knees here for a little bit. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and as you exhale, let your torso melt over the soles of your feet. Inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five. Good, gently release, lengthen your legs straight out in front, shake them out. Listen carefully. So you're going to take your left hand to the outside of your right leg. If you can reach behind the knee, the calf, or the outside of the left foot, sweep your right arm behind your back. Stay here with the uh, feet grounded, or if you can, lift the right leg off the ground. Maybe you reach for the heel. Here we go. Inhale, exhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five. Good, release and switch sides. So go ahead, sweep the left arm behind your back. You take your right hand to the outside of any part of your left leg you can reach. You can keep the leg straight or lift the left leg off the ground with the right hand as you twist over to the left side. Inhale, exhale one, maybe lift the leg even higher. Inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five, beautiful. Release, give your legs a gentle shake, shake, shake it out. Nice, now everybody meet me laying down on the mat. So as you arrive, laying down on the mat with bent knees, see if you could touch your heels. That's the measurement of how far away your feet are from your glutes. Push down through the forearms and lift the pelvis off the ground. If you'd like to go a little bit deeper today, you can tuck the shoulder blades underneath the back. Perhaps you interlace the hands. Here we go. And if you have wheel, go for it. Place uh, your hands right by your ears and lift everything off the ground. So listen to your body. Do what feels right for you. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five, beautiful. Gently release, set your pelvis on the mat. Go ahead and hug the knees into the torso and just make baby circles. Just to relieve any stress in that lumbar spine. Nice, now lift your legs up. You can stay here or shoulder stand. If shoulder stand is in your practice, you sweep the legs up and overhead. 
That way you can grab hold of your low back as you draw the feet up towards the ceiling. Here we go, five breaths, inhale. Exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five, rest. Slowly begin to lower the hips down onto the mat. And once you get there, let's make our way into fish pose. So bend your elbows, set your forearms flat right next to your hips, puff up your chest and your heart, and let the throat face the sky. Inhale, exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five, release. Set the crown of the head flat. So bend the knees into the chest, cross the right ankle over the left knee. You can keep your arms grounded as we make our way into figure four, or maybe you interlace your hands around both underneath as you grab hold of the left shin. Here we go, inhale, exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five, beautiful. Gently release and switch. Cross the opposite ankle over the knee and interlace your hands on top of the shin. Inhale, exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five, release. Lengthen the legs straight out. Give it a gentle shake, shake, shake it out. Letter T. Rebend the knees into the torso. Flip the knees over to the right as you gaze out over the left shoulder. Listen, you can interlace the legs. You can glide the bottom ankle and place it on top of the Top knee as you gaze out over the opposite shoulder. This gets you a little bit deeper into the hip. Inhale, exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five, release. Switch it out, bend the knees back into the torso, flip the knees over to the other side as you gaze out over the opposite shoulder and feel free to change up the position of the legs. If you'd like to get deeper into the hips, I take that bottom ankle and place it on top of my left knee. Inhale, exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five, slowly release, lengthen the legs straight out in front, shake, shake, shake it out. Making your way to happy baby now. So bend the knees into the chest, grab opposite ankles or the outsides of the feet and just gently rock side to side. Here we go, inhale. Exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, inhale. Exhale three, inhale. Exhale four, inhale. Exhale five, release. Give your legs a nice little stretch out across the mat. Now re-bend the knees into the chest, hug them tight, tight, tight. The grip is tight, the expression on your face is tight. Everything feels so tense. 10 breaths, inhale. Exhale one, inhale. Exhale two, Inhale, exhale three, inhale, exhale four, inhale, exhale five, inhale, exhale six, inhale, exhale seven, inhale, exhale eight, inhale, exhale nine, inhale, exhale 10, release, Shavasana. So just let the legs glide across the mat, let your palms face the sky. As you come into the final relaxation pose, take your tongue, glide it to the top of your teeth, and try to keep your eyes closed until you, I tell you to open them. 
feel completely at ease. Resting at the day at the beach, nowhere to go, nothing to do. Take the tongue, glide it to the top of the teeth and let the tongue settle down to the bottom of the jaw. Let your jaw relax as you draw the shoulder blades down your back and onto the mat like butter on pancakes. Relax the eyelids and the eyebrows. Relax the forehead, the upper lip and the lower lip, the cheeks. Relax your throat. Relax the back of the neck. Relax your biceps and triceps. Relax your elbows and elbow creases. Relax your forearms. Relax your wrists. Relax the front of the hands and the back of the hands. Relax the pinky finger, the ring finger, the middle finger, the pointer finger, and the thumbs. Relaxing the entire arm. Moving down into your belly, relax your belly. Relax your heart, lungs, relax your hips. Relax the glutes. Relax the thighs, relax the knees, the kneecaps. Relax the calf muscles and the shins. Relax the ankles. all 10 toes and fingers. Practicing the most challenging pose in yoga, just learning to surrender right here, right now, with everything going on physically and emotionally. And if your mind wanders, that's okay. Just bring your attention back to the natural breath Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes, bringing some physical awareness back into your body. Gently shake your head side to side. When you're ready, sweep your arms up and overhead, feeling like that first morning stretch of the day from the fingers to the toes. Gradually bend the knees into the chest, hug them tight. Give yourself some and then rock on to your right or your left in a fetal position. You can use your arm as a pillow if you'd like. When you're ready, meet me back in this cross-legged seated position that we began our session with. Let your palms join together at your heart center. Push the thumbs into your sternum so you can feel your heart vibrate as you bow your head down in gratitude. Take a moment to seal your practice in. Gratitude to one another for showing up and gratitude for carving time out to make mind-body connections. Om Shanti, 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 peace. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for letting me guide you.